guys. Uh, I know it's been a long time, uh, probably a few months now uh, since I had last put out a video. And as you know from that last video, I said I was kind of, I was kind of losing interest in video games, but I was starting to feel a bit of a more interest in them at that point, which turns out I wasn't. Uh, I tried to play a, a few different games and just nothing held my interest for more than 30 minutes. So I just, I don't know, stopped playing video games for a while, stopped buying video games. Um, I don't know, a lot of shit has happened in my personal life, so it's, I don't know, it's, I just haven't had that interest in video games. Um, and I, I think I'm making, like, I think I'm probably going to stop collecting for a while, or at least stop collecting heavily. Uh, and I'm probably, th I'm thinking of uh, getting rid of a large section of my collection, actually. Um, and I don't know, I, this channel, like, when I started it, it was always going to be more focused on talking about video games. Um, and not really the collecting side of it. So, uh, you know, that's what I enjoy the most is talking about video games uh, after finishing a video game, talking about it, talking about different things in the in the video game world. Um, but anyways, uh, for this video, uh, basically I finished my first game since Bioshock Infinite, and this kind of relates with that in a way because it is The Last of Us on PS3, um, which, of course, all the reviews are like super high for this game, like 10s, 9.5, saying it's the best game of the year along with Bioshock Infinite. Uh, did I enjoy this as much as Bioshock Infinite? Okay, first off, I'll, I'll say right now, uh, a lot of you will probably be surprised with my uh, views on this game. As some of you might know, uh, this was on my most anticipated games of 2013 list. Um, I was really excited for this, even though I, I wasn't a fan, I'm not really a fan of Naughty Dog's previous games. I've always loved the Crash Bandicoot games, but I was never able to get into the Jack and Daxter games, and the Uncharted games were just not for me at all. Uh, but I was excited about this game for the setting, uh, the story, the characters, and the action, the gameplay looked genuinely exciting and fun. Um, now, how I'll say, like, you'll probably be surprised because I'm... Despite all the hype and glowing reviews, okay, first I'll say I enjoy this game. Last of Us is a great game. Uh, it's absolutely a, a, a great game. I just, I don't quite get the really high score, the high scores and all the praise that's been given to it. And I'll go over that a bit later. Um, now, compared to Bioshock Infinite 2, looking back on my Bioshock Infinite review, I think I was a bit too <laughs> nice on that game. Uh, Bioshock Infinite had an amazing storyline. I love the storyline and the world in that game. It's the gameplay in that game that, looking back on it, it wasn't anything special. And towards the end of the game, I thought that game got kind of like, I don't know, it got it got a bit much in terms of like shooting things. Um, and I think this game has that kind of same problem as Bioshock Infinite did. Uh, but anyways, I'll talk about the gameplay later. Uh, first, though, I want to talk about the story, although I'm not going to go too much into it. Uh, what makes Last of Us so great in the end is the story, the character development, um, and the setting. Uh, you know, it's a post-apocalyptic world, which I love games with those kind of settings, and this one is a more, it's a more realistic setting. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a zombie game, a zombie setting, but they're not zombies, they're infected. Um, the whole story, uh, you play as Joel. Uh, and this game starts with an intro sequence, which is probably one of my favorite intro sequences I've ever seen in a video game. Like, it, it's very emotional, it, it feels very authentic and real, um, and basically you play as Joel, which I'm not going to go over the, the intro of the game, but basically you have, your task is to kind of escort this uh, teenage girl named Ellie on the cover here uh, to a Firefly hideout, and these, these fire... I, I'm not going to explain the fireflies either. I don't. I don't really want to give away too much of the story because it's it's a phenomenal story. Uh, a lot of it is is like character development, uh, getting to know these characters as you journey across this post-apocalyptic wasteland. Um, well, it's not really wasteland actually, but um, and meeting new characters along the way. There is somewhat of a storyline, but it's not it's not all that big or important. Uh, the scope of this game, uh, as far as the storyline goes, it isn't like Bioshock Infinite, uh, which was quite uh, complex, I must say. Uh, this game's not not doesn't really have a complex storyline. 
Uh, and there's some of this game that feels ripped from other like movies and even other video games. I'm not going to say which video games, but there's certain parts of this game which feel ripped from other other places. Uh, so it's it's not entirely original, the, this game, the storyline, uh, but it's done so goddamn well that uh, you ha you have to love it. Uh, and it's got this game's got some of the best writing I've seen in a video game. The production values are terrific. Um, it's just it's you feel invested with these characters, uh, and it's just it's if you're gonna play this game, if you're gonna buy this game, buy it for that. Because uh, all throughout the game, I I just I loved the storyline, the world, uh, and the characters. Um, and that's all I want to say about the storyline. There's definitely some twists and turns. It's always engaging. Um, now, I will say, talk a little bit about the ending. I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, it's a love it or hate it ending. Uh, did I love it? Did I hate it? I loved it. I thought it was perfect. Uh, it, honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way as far as uh, the ending goes. Um, now, what else to talk about here? Uh, the voice acting. I want to briefly go over the voice acting. Uh, Troy Baker uh, voices Joel. And he's further cementing himself as one of the best video game voice actors out there. I mean, his range is crazy. Uh, Booker DeWitt in Bioshock Infinite and, and now uh, uh, Joel here in Last of Us. Just outstanding voice work. Um, uh, also, the girl that does Ellie, also really good. All the NPCs in the game, uh, the voice acting is some of the best I've heard in a video game. Uh, the sound design in this game is incredible. Uh, the clicker enemies, uh, their, their sound effects are just... In, like insane if you play this game with a surround sound system uh, it's it really helps to build that atmosphere uh, which this game also has quite a good atmosphere it's, this game even though it is a survival like a lot of people might consider it a survival horror game I didn't find it scary or anything or creepy but it, it definitely has a, a great um, you know a great atmosphere still um, the music is also phenomenal it's very minim minimalistic uh, but it, it works whenever it shows up. Uh, I really, I really love the music in this game. Uh, so uh, the visuals too. Uh, I've seen better looking games, uh, but I think you know it's it's a, a great looking game overall. The graphics are really nice. Uh, it basically, from a production value standpoint, from a story standpoint, from a character standpoint, uh, this game is phenomenal across the board. So why do I say this is a great game and not a perfect game or an out like a amazing phenomenal game like so many people are saying I, I it, it comes down to the gameplay uh, now this game I will say the first it's one of those games that starts off slow uh, you only get a few weapons in the beginning and I honestly I'll say for the first three or four hours I was bored I I was it was not hooking me uh, the way I was hoping it was gonna hook me uh, as far as the gameplay goes um, but it does get better. Uh, towards the end, it definitely gets more enjoyable from a gameplay's perspective. Um, but the first few hours are just really, really, really slow. And honestly, I, 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 can, I was surprised with how bored I was with those first few hours. Um, Control-wise, this game is perfect, too. I'll have a briefly mention the controls. Uh, the controls couldn't possibly have been better. Uh, they are absolutely perfect. Uh, but the gameplay itself, why why I don't think it's all that special. Uh, this kind of gameplay, third-person shooter gameplay, uh, that's in The Last of Us, cover-based, uh, you do a lot of crouching, uh, and, try, and you, it's, it's very stealth-oriented. Uh, a lot of the times you're going to have to use stealth to get uh, to kill your enemies, because the AI in this game is pretty pretty amazing. They'll flank you, they'll, they'll never come after you. Uh, if they hear you creep around and touch things in the environment, like, uh, or picking up objects, they'll hear you, and they'll, they'll, they'll find your location. So many times in this game, I, I'm just kind of exploring the environment, scavenging, when all of a sudden an enemy will just come up from behind me and, and start shooting me. Uh, and it's, it, gets, it can be kind of frustrating in that sense uh, from the human enemies, because uh, you've got the human enemies in this game and the, the infected enemies. Uh, but it is a, it, it is a slower-paced game. Uh, in the beginning, you don't get that many weapons. Uh, there's a cool upgrading system uh, for upgrading weapons. You got you scavenge materials, and that's that is a fun part of the game. Exploring the game, the game never tells you exactly where to go. Uh, they'll give you a little hint indicator if you press like uh, the left toggle in or the right toggle in. It will tell you where to go if you're taking too long to explore a certain area. Uh, so that's always available to you. But there's no 
I don't know, the game's not forcing you in any direction. It's encouraging you to explore or not to explore, uh, which I, I really love that, uh, that part of the game. Uh, it's just, uh, in the beginning, the combat is not very open. Uh, you don't have many options open to you. Uh, you're basically crouching around, strangling guys from behind, um, using your pistol. Uh, as I said before, the scavenging materials that you can use to upgrade your weapons, which the upgrading system's good. Uh, I've seen it in plenty of other games before, uh, but it works well here. Uh, you can craft your own med kits. Uh, you get smoke bombs, which are pretty damn useful, actually. Um, you get these, like, mine kind of things where you throw and have enemies walk over them, they explode. Uh, Molotov cocktails, which are extremely useful against the infected. Um, so, in the beginning, the combat, I wasn't really feeling it, and it, just, it took a long time to get to a point where it got even somewhat enjoyable for me. Uh, and this kind of combat in this game, it is it is kind of similar to Uncharted, just a lot more slower pace. Uh, there's not quite as many enemies as in that game. I was expecting maybe uh, this game to be a bit more survival-based. Uh, you get quite a bit of health, and enemies have quite a bit of health. They're, they're, they're a bit on the bullet sponge side. Um, but the human enemies are kind of fun if you're trying to sneak around. They're fun to kill if you're trying to sneak around. Uh, there are a lot of different ways you can handle different uh, encounters. But a lot of this game is just from, like, you know, exploring the environments for a bit and, and character development. And then you'll come into an area where you'll see a lot of chest-high walls and you'll know, okay, here's the part where enemies will flush in. I gotta take them all out, move on to the next area, rinse and repeat. Uh, the game is set up like that a lot through the game. Uh, there is a chapter late in the game that, that uh, changes things up a bit, um, which is actually one of my favorite chapters. Uh, I'll say Winter. <laughs> That's my little hint on that one. Um, which, that chapter was amazing. That They really knocked it out of the park with that one. I wish the most of the game was different like that, but a lot of the, it's just this kind of standard combat, I felt. Uh, which, of course, this is all my opinion. Um, but... Uh, the infected work a bit differently. I enjoyed fighting them a bit more because they're more aggressive and they'll chase after you. Uh, clickers will kill you one hit, uh, so you gotta be watch it. You gotta watch out for them. I, I felt it was you could employ a lot more interesting strategies against the infected than the human enemies, uh, and there's a good mix of of the two. Um, but overall, the combat is it, it's good. What it does, I mean, the combat that's here it works pretty. It works well. Uh, it's just maybe. You know, maybe it's a, it's between the fact that I'm I'm starting to lose interest in shooters a bit, and the fact that I've seen this kind of gameplay in countless games before. So it it I don't know it 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 wasn't as survival focused as I would have liked. Although I did play on normal mode, uh, maybe I should have went up to a harder survivor plus mode. I think, um, but I don't know. So I I don't know. I guess you could I guess I could do that, but normal mode is not that hard, and it's just I don't know. I just, the combat didn't do much for me. Uh, it's it's a bit derivative, I guess. I it's the all the I've seen this kind of stuff before, um, but it's definitely not bad. And if you join in, sh in shooters in any kind of form, I think you'll lo you'll love this. I just I don't know. I didn't see anything special with the 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 shooting and the you know the sneaking around and, and stuff like that. Uh, other than the actual combat, uh, you have these really like, this is another part of the game I wasn't too big on, too. Uh, the puzzles, which, if you can even call them that. Uh, you'll kind of cooperate with Ellie and then, like, get, like, um, you know, you'll swim and get these boards that you she can stand on. She'll, you know, get ladders for you. These really simple navigation puzzles, which I think just, they, they drag out the game way too much. They don't, you know, they don't require much brain power. They're... They're really boring. They slow down to the game to the, to a crawl, and we've seen this kind of shit in so many games. I don't know why they felt they needed to add that kind of stuff into the game. Um, and that I thought was a missed opportunity. They they could have got a bit more clever with that kind of stuff. Um, but what haven't I covered? Um, I think that's really about it. Uh, multiplayer actually, <laughs> multiplayer didn't touch it. Don't care. Um, I'm sure it might be great, I'm just not into multiplayer. Um, uh, but yeah, towards the end of the game, as you get more weapons, uh, the combat definitely opens up a bit. Uh, I, I don't like how, like, towards the end of the game, just to make it a bit harder, they just throw millions of enemies at you. I really wasn't expecting uh, the amount of enemies uh, in this game and, and combat uh, in it. There's, there's quite a bit of it, and it, it does get a bit tiring. Um, 
I think part of that is just my lack of interest in shooters these days. And Bioshock Infinite, I felt, had this exact same problem, where they just, towards the end of the game, they throw so many enemies at you, it just gets, it gets tiring. Um, and that game, too, had pretty, a pretty generic gameplay. Uh, same with this game. I think we're kind of reaching a point in video games where the storytelling, voice acting, production values, it, it's getting insane. It's getting crazy good. Uh, but the gameplay is starting to feel a bit stagnant in these games, these big blockbuster Western games. I might be just losing interest in Western games, too. Uh, right now, I'm playing Tales of Exilia on the PS3, and Japanese RPG, what I've always been into, uh, and I'm I'm enjoying that a lot more than I did playing this, um, <laughs> which is, I know, crazy. Uh, but yeah, Last of Us, uh, I'll go over the aiming, actually. The aiming in the beginning is, I felt it was very awkward, because uh, it's the game's got this massive weapon sway. Uh, Joel doesn't aim perfect uh, in the beginning. You can upgrade that later, but I felt that added kind of a bit of a realistic feel to the game. Um, but yeah, the aiming is definitely a bit a bit weird. Uh, you got to get used to it. Um, a lot of this this game you have to get used to uh, in terms of like crawling around and how you play it, because it does have a bit. There is a bit like it is a bit different compared to a lot of stealth games. Uh, thank God there's no forced stealth sections in this game. Uh, that would have really pissed me off. Uh, you you can tackle a lot of the situations in this game in any way you want. Uh, you might be able to go through all stealth. I'm not sure. There is one section towards the end of the game where I was like, yeah, okay, there's, you can possibly uh, use stealth uh, in that part. Uh, but yeah, I think that about covers it for Last of Us. Uh, a great game. Uh, if you're into, if you like shooters at all. Uh, definitely pick it up. I know I'm def I'm way late on this game. Uh, everyone's already played through and enjoyed this. Um, if I had to give it a rating, I don't give ratings, but I have. If I had to give it a rating, like an eight, uh, it's a great game. I just I don't see the hype with it. And looking back on Bioshock Infinite, uh, I'd also probably give that an eight. Uh, both great games. Uh, wouldn't I, I don't think any of those two games, uh, these two games, are going to be my game of the year. Although I've missed out on a lot of games this year. Uh, but I'm definitely glad I paid this, uh, or paid this, I played this. Uh, I definitely enjoyed my time with it, especially towards the end. It got, it definitely got more enjoyable. The first few hours were rough. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, geez, it feels so weird actually beating a game after so long, but hopefully this will kind of spur my interest in video games and, and I'll be able to play a lot more. Uh, Tales of Exilia I'm really getting into, so I'm glad I'm finally starting to get get back into the swing of things. Um, I'd like to, in terms of my channel, I'd like to get back into the, my Mega Man series. Uh, like let's play, let's review Mega Man series. That was always fun to do. Um, a bunch of games I still want to play on the 3DS. I want to get my hands on Mario and Luigi Dream Team and uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4. That, there's a lot of praise for that in the YouTube community. Uh, but anyways, that's it guys. Uh, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.